as you've heard, Christmas is about to be stolen in Fall Guys as we check out the Great Big Grinch Bundle. This bundle includes the Grinch, Santa Claus Grinch, and the Slithered and Slunk Taunt. Let's get started with our holiday heist. So we have our dubious Grinch costume equipped here. Of course, he has that you know famous green coloring to him. He looks very, very evil. But if you can see here, the great big Grinch bundle has the Grinch Tinty Claws. And if we see over here, cuddly as a cactus, feeling mean, grab your sack and steal your way to victory with the Grinch. So we'll start this, of course, first show with the Grinch, then move over to Santa Claus. But I'll also go ahead and equip the Slithered and Slunk taunt so that we can see it in the game. But it's right here. <laughs> That's so cute. So we're just sort of tiptoeing around, slithering around trying to steal those presents. So our first round of today's show is going to be Treetop Tumble. Maybe not the most fitting for the Grinch, but you know, it's still green. So that works out pretty well. Yeah, we might try the gift grab event later on because you know, stealing gifts as the Grinch just feels so fitting. But we did complete everything there is to do with that one. So I don't know if it's super worth it at the moment, but I don't even know why I'm trying to jump up there. It's much faster usually just to stay over here. So gotta be careful of the whole crowd here, but we just have to be top 41 to get through to this. So that's what I'll mostly be focusing on. Hopefully it works out, but there's, there's a lot going on here. Oh man, all right, ready. Oh gosh, yeah, I might just, whoa, want to stay to the outside because if not, there's just too many people in the way. Oh my gosh, okay, that was all me, that was all me. Uh, I'll just, so usually I do not so bad with this part, but I'm struggling this time. Oh my goodness. Come on, just go a little bit slower, and there we go. We got it. Oh my gosh, we're pumping into people everywhere though. Some people have already somehow completed this one, which is pretty crazy. I don't know how they've gotten so far, we might not make it. I don't know, this one's getting close already, so. We'll just try to run over as fast as we can as half of the people have already qualified. I think it's gonna be a close one, but this is where we can catch up a lot. Because some people like to go through the center, but it doesn't work out so well for them, and apparently it's not working out for me either. Never mind a rough round to start with. Okay, well, maybe we'll just, you know, have a fresh start. That'll make it a little bit better. <laughs> not what I wanted to see, though, for sure. So, let's see what we get here as rewards. It looks like I might have made progress with something. I skipped by it too fast, but we're making progress with we're at 215. Not too much this time. Let's just go again. Okay, this one should go a bit better. We'll just pretend that last round didn't happen. We'll be able to slip inside here and probably get a decent finish. I'd imagine. It really just depends on how many people get in our way. Got a little bit of that. I'll jump over this stuff. Oh, people are knocking me over. The it's so weird, because I'm diving into them just as much as they're diving into me, but I'm always the one who gets knocked over. It's a bit odd. Maybe there's just a trick to it. Oh my gosh, okay. We didn't get knocked over that time, luckily. I will, oh, I get nailed there by somebody just crossing over. That is never good, but. Okay, we got it, we got it. Sort of, this turn is not going super well for me. I will stick to this side this time. We're, we're definitely in the top 40 though. As long as we can get that, we can get the round two. There we go. That wasn't so bad, but I'm bumping into them. Oh no, oh no. See, so, yeah, definitely not a first place finish, but we qualify, which is way better than last time. Ooh, so we have to earn up some easy percentage here, hopefully in air time. Last time we did this one, we, we made some good progress, but we are, no, we're, we're starting on the good side. There's sort of a good side and a more difficult side, in my opinion. We just wanna get over to the big sort of uh, disc, whatever you might wanna call it, as soon as possible. So we should be able to do that. I don't know if it'll be a first place finish, but it'll certainly be a good time. Whoa, maybe, yeah, see, that's not gonna happen. I was just too far in the back for that one. So we'll roll all the way down, I got 2%. Oh, uh, now I'm over here. Okay, not exactly what I wanted. Oh, and the fan gets me good there. I guess I get a little extra right there. Oh my gosh. Wait a minute, whoa, I make it back up. Okay, this is getting a little redeemed. I'll just stay up here for now. I know this fan's about to turn around though and that's gonna make everything quite difficult. Okay, well, down I go. Some people are already qualifying. I just feel like I'm getting really bad luck with this one though. I'm over here again, okay. Oh, Cause I'm only at 65%. I know that, that fan's gonna turn in just a moment. Not a fan of that, we're at 93%. Half the people have already qualified. Can I please go to, no, why is it always on this side? Come on, come on, come on. Got it, and boom, we qualified. Thank goodness, that one was a lot closer than I prefer, but 
<laughs> it just didn't fall in our favor. Ooh, the Swiveller is up next. Usually this one isn't too bad for us, and we are in the very, very front. I see us way over there. So as we're rushing through this one, we'll be chased by a couple of uh, snowy trees. Yeah, a lot of you were letting me know for that costume um, that I need to go and uh, redeem it. Basically, there was the uh, one tree costume. Oh man, whoa, this is not going well. Okay, hold on. <laughs> but there was one tree that we showcased in a previous festive bundle a few episodes ago, but then the white snowy tree is actually a free costume you can get through the Epic Game Store on the computer, I think. But uh, I was able to do it. Oh no! Oh, what, what, what I wasn't able to do was get through this one. I just feel like there's a, something weird going on in today's episode. I'm gonna bump the knock around by everything and everyone. But when you complete some daily challenges, that'll be a couple of extra rewards for us. So hey, I'll take it. That should be enough shards for us to get another crown. I guess we'll see in just a moment. But hey, look at this. We do get the top part of the Shork costume, which I'll be sure to showcase sh soon. <laughs> but we do get um, a crown getting us to 175. We're slowly closing in on level 21, but there's still so much more left to go. So we'll do at least one more show here as the normal Grinch before we switch over to the other one. But geez, what a rough episode so far. It's one of my favorites. So hopefully we win this one. I guess we'll have to see. It's the first round of this show. So here's hoping. Getting bounced around a little bit, but we're gonna slant here. And it's all about staying on the top. So if I could dive here, that might be a good idea. No, uh, people just land right on top of us. That's fine. There'll be a way to catch up later on. Won't be a first place scenario for most of this, but we're gonna stay up here now. Out of the way, out of the way. Oh no. One thing that also doesn't help too much is I feel like the camera can get sort of wonky. Okay, we're gonna go through here. Okay, I get pushed a little bit, but I won't be able to make it on the there. So, it was a fine finish, nothing too crazy here. We just go through like this, jump, dive, and boom, we qualified. Not the way I wanted to, but we, we, we made it through one way or another. Unfortunately, not the case for everybody, but hey, at least we got through round two. Oh no, it's time for stomping ground. The last time we won this, it was because we focused on staying in the center, and that sort of changed things up for us. Not only that, but it knocked down the party to just four players. They knocked out so many other, uh, else of the competition, we had a final round and a third round. Will that happen this time? I guess I'll have to wait and see. But for right now, yeah, I'm just trying to focus on staying in the center, while also keeping an eye on all three of the rhinos. Nope, not happening, maybe, uh, okay, we're fine. There are players left and right getting knocked out, though. It only takes one rhino, though, to ruin the whole thing. So, the fact that there's three of them is pretty intense. Oh, man. Get more players getting knocked out now. I think we're good to go over here. Oh, man, that was close. That was so, so close. And there's one behind us, though. Uh, whoa, no! Oh, come on, that is so baloney. It is so difficult to stay on. I don't know why we are just getting decimated in today's episode. Maybe it's a good sign that we should switch to something else, you know, some different rounds. So maybe I'll do that really quickly. I know we, we haven't had too much time here to actually play as the Grinch. So I think we'll do gift grab. We'll try out gift grab and see if this goes a little bit better. We can steal some costumes as the Grinch and that'll feel very fitting for the, the situation. All right, for this one, obviously we got those gifts to grab. Got a channel or inner Grinch here, make sure nobody else gets them. Whoa, I got stuck on the pipe there for a second. Luckily they didn't hold us for too long, but I wanna try landing in one of these yellow ones because I, I rarely ever do, but it does set you ahead a little bit. So that's always nice. Okay, come on, go, go, go. I'll grab this present. <laughs> I'm not, okay, come on. That was not fair. Get me back out there, Um, but yeah, I'm not gonna actually worry about grabbing too many presents. We don't need them at all. I've collected all the ones I need for any kind of reward, but it's just, you know, fun to sort of play along with it. There we go. There are still some players ahead of us, but we can hop on top of this thing. We missed that pole, unfortunately, but this next one is all ours. Okay, go, go, go. But as we're rushing through this, I would love to hear what are your thoughts on the Grinch costume as a part of this bundle? Do you plan on getting this bundle and all that kind of stuff? Maybe you are a really big Dr. Seuss fan and all that kind of stuff? Whoa. So far, I think it's pretty cool. Obviously, it looks just like the Grinch shout. That's always fun. Yeah, the Grinch wasn't always like my favorite Dr. Seuss story, but I definitely think it's a fun one. Very memorable. But okay, that was pretty good. We can move on to the next round. Ooh, we got Slime Climb up next. I haven't run into this one too much recently. There's a big button at the end there just to launch other people around. 
we start in the front, but I feel like recently I've been getting a little risky with this one. We end up falling to our doom, but you know what? I'm gonna try it again. No, <laughs> okay, okay. I thought we were gonna fall right into that crevice there. That would have been awful, but luckily that doesn't happen. And like I said, not gonna worry too much about actually grabbing the presents, because we just don't need it. There we go, we got up here. Gotta wait for this one. Okay, come on. <laughs> I just, I'm so tired of the grabbing. Grab some presents, don't grab the Grinch. There we go. Much better, much better. Almost there, almost there. That was pretty good. Now we can just run across. Oh no, you don't. I know what you're trying to do here. I'm not letting that happen. No, you don't. Ah, oh, you did it. How are people so good at that? They just practice all day at grabbing. And they are still here playing goalie. Let's see what they go for. Ready, I'm gonna jump over you. There we go. So now I'm gonna do a little. <laughs> All right, let's keep it moving. Let's not get too distracted with that. All right then. So it looks like they just wanted to grab me because they moved forward. Oh no, oh man, we're falling all over the place. It's not what we want. Okay, almost there, almost there. Okay, a little bit more, a little bit more. And they are pressing that button, but if I just ride on the side like that, no, you don't, no, you don't, okay. That was close, that was close. All right, this person just wants to cause a lot of havoc. We're just gonna dance around at the end, and then we'll go, and we'll get qualified, just to be safe. It's getting pretty close here. This person, the one who was grabbing me before, will they make their way through? It looks like they will, they're very grabby. But yeah, we made it through, which is all that really matters to me too much, so we'll get to the next round. Okay, so tail tag is our next one. This one, of course, is very stressful. Typically, I guess it's not too bad because you know we're usually just focused on getting the presents. We don't really care about the results too much, but this time, I'm focused on the results because I've already gotten all the presents I need. So some people might be trying to catch up to me here. Let's see if we can't just, oh no, you don't. Oh no, you, oh, that was good, that was good. Okay, we can avoid them. Can I just stand on, oh, I think I could. Oh, that'd be fun. If I could just stand up here, might be a little bit uh, difficult to do. It seems like the more you stand on it, the harder it gets to stay on it. I mean, you're bouncing off it more than you're standing on it. Whoa, I was up there for a second, that was cool. You can get to some crazy spots simply just by jumping on this thing or getting hit by it, so. The closer we are to the center, the more often we have to jump. But so far, I'm earning up a pretty good set of tail, tail time, which is what we need for a gold medal in this, so. Yeah, hopefully this works out. No matter what, this will definitely be my last show as um, the Grinch will switch over to the, uh, oh gosh, the other Grinch costume after this one. So far, so good. This person is trying to grab me. I'm getting launched way over here. Oh no, come on, time to run, time to run. Not happening. I'm going, no, I fell. I wanna go back over there. Okay, we got it, we got it. No, you don't, no, you don't. Because it seems like it's working out pretty well for us up here. We're holding a really solid tail time. <laughs> come on. Like, it's gotta be a gold medal at this point, if we can take it all the way. We're right next to, um, was it Santa Jack? So that's pretty cool. Five seconds remaining. Oh, come on, we can do it. Come on, we got it. Wow, that's my first time getting 100% tail time. We had tail time the entire time, that was amazing. Ooh, so we are in, I guess this might be the final rounds here. Yeah, we get the blast ball. So we'll see how this one goes for us. So far though, you know, we, we have some good odds, I would hope. We've been holding on with each round pretty well. But I think for right now, the best strategy is typically just to run around like a maniac. <laughs> we'll see if that actually works out for us, but at least for the first little bit, while there's no platforms or anything, we can just run around a lot. Because we've gotten pretty close to winning it recently. Oh man, oh man. Okay, so. I'm just very focused on making sure I don't run too far in one direction and then get launched like that. Oh no, I got knocked over by the one so I couldn't move away from that one. That's fine. We still had a lot of fun there with the normal Grinch. We'll switch over to the next costume now. Well, let's see what we get here. I got silver medal sets, a bunch of battle pass points. Really cool, so glad to get that for sure. And we got to grab some presents with the Grinch. It's very fitting, 500 kudos for getting to level 62. And we're on our way to level 63 soon enough. All right then, so yeah, let's get back to it. We'll check out our next costume now. 
So here is the Santa Claus Grinch. Look, it really devious. I love, of course, this looks just like, you know, the old cartoon did, really with the art style, with everything. So really nice details here for sure. We're just gonna keep having fun with this, of course. I don't think there was too much more to check out with the bundle besides, you know, the taunt. I already have the nameplate and stuff equipped and the, the stripped bear, uh, texture there that I think we also have equipped. But for right now, let's try like duos or squads just to mix it up a little bit because we haven't played either of those in a few episodes. This should be a lot of fun. Okay, so our first round of this show will be Tundra Run. And will this be duos or squads? I guess we'll find out in a moment. I'm in suspense. There we go, it's duos. Okay, let's give it a go. So we're starting a little bit in the back here, but I don't think that'll be too big of a deal. We only need to be top 16. So not a ton of the duos here will be actually be eliminated, but it's quite the traffic jam so far. Just to push our way through this crowd, we're all trying the same thing. Gotta make a single file line to get through it all. Oh man, I think we'll make it through the sound of this time. Usually I'm a bit concerned about that, but I think this time we got it under control. We'll see. Oh, I almost got punched by that, but luckily we're in the clear with that right there. Awesome. And I think We'll try to, you know, get the win, but yeah, not get launched too far. Because there are a couple players ahead of us. We're not gonna get a first place finisher, I don't think, but it would just be cool if we can get through decently enough to qualify. Okay, ooh, not quite happening with that one, but this one. And then, oh, yeah, there it is. Not a bad placement that we get 46 points right there, and our teammate is still making their way through, but we're currently in six, so we'd have to fall behind pretty far to knock off right from this one, so hopefully they make it. Okay, so we have the, uh, I always forget what this is called, right as soon as the text goes away, but we just gotta slip and slide. This time, of course, we'll have to earn up 60 points. Okay, I got up here, well, that's good. We are sort of in the lead for the time being. Oh yeah, hopefully our, our duo partner's not too far behind and they're getting points as well. We need to get 16 in total. It looks like they took the side path, so get a little bit of that. See, I'm still trying to decide. I'll try to keep count here. That right there gets us three points, four, five, and we got six, seven, and eight. Eight points by going through the center path. Let's see how many points we get for getting through the side path. Will it be better than eight points? So I wanna sell this once and for all so we know which way to go. Oh man. It might just balance out to be the same exact thing. You never know, but we're up to 28 points. Come on, we need 60 in total, so we're not even halfway there yet. This'll help out a ton. So, I'm going to get this one. Oh man, oh man. But then starting from here, this is gonna be three points, four points, five, and then it's gonna be eight again. Yep, okay, so it's exactly the same no matter which way you take it. But I feel like we can get through the center one a little bit faster. We do get this, we can sort of get that one on the side, but unfortunately, just not earning enough points to actually win here. I mean, I did everything I could, but it wasn't enough. So we'll try again in another round. That duo is just didn't work out super well. But so let's see how many points we got. We do play another race round, so we're just one step closer. If I could play three more race rounds in today's episode, we'll get 7,000 battle pass points, which would be fantastic. Okay, so we're taking another chance at this one. I think this one, yeah, once again, is duos. I feel like more people go for duos than they do squads, it seems. Oh, it's easier to find a game that way. Probably because, you know, you're, you have to connect up to less players, but... We're gonna get launched way up and right down here. We, we've played this one, you know, quite a few times recently, so I, I think we can keep up with it. Here's hope then. Of course, it's, it's always a team effort. Both us and our squad mate need to be able to get a good finish. It's not, unfortunately, you know, it's not one of those ones where either of us can really lag behind very much. If only one of us is getting good points and the other one's not, it just isn't enough points to actually survive after round two or so, you know? So we'll see how it ends up happening. This first one, you know, isn't too bad. It doesn't actually tell me how many points we need or how many squads are qualifying. That's sort of weird. Usually it does on the top left. Not this time though. Anyways, this definitely should count as a race round which I'm happy about, because that'll be more progress for our challenge. Okay, I got it. That was weird. I got a little shuffled. But we get into the tube first. See, I wonder what placement we need here to actually qualify. Oh, I got it, just barely. That was great. Now you launch through here, and 
Boom. Okay, now it's telling me we're about like 12th place or something. I don't know where our squad mate is. They're not too far behind. There it goes. We're up to third, fourth now. Now it's saying top 20 to qualify. Gotcha. Well, we definitely did that with some space to spare. We're currently in fifth place. Okay, so we're climbing the slime. Hopefully we go. Uh, I, okay, they're a little late. They're a little late. That's all right. We're just giving them a head start. You know what I mean? All the rest of the competition, they're gonna need it. They're gonna need it with how well we're gonna do here in Slime Climb. Oh man, oh man, I almost got pushed into the slime. No, they got eliminated. It's all up to me. So we need to be top 12 to qualify here. So getting a good placement is actually going to really matter. So I will try my best just to push myself out into the front of the crowd and get a good finish. I use all the shortcuts I know how to use. And hope that that doesn't end up with me getting eliminated. I feel like sometimes I avoid the shortcuts just because they don't turn out super well and I get disqualified, but no, come on, ah. Those things are slipperier, slipperier than you might think. Got it. And then we'll get up here, and then I will dive up like this. It does get me ahead, even just a couple of spots. It's worth doing. Okay, we're going, we're going. Ooh, that was actually amazing. So now I should be able to get through some of this just like that. Um, this is where I've gotten knocked out before. I need to be very, very careful. Come on, go, 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 and then dive. Oh, okay, that was so close, that was so, so close. Oh man, 38 points is gonna be our score there. So that's all the points we're gonna get from this one. Hopefully it's enough to keep us in the top 12. We're in third place for right now, so I guess we'll have to wait and see. I think we'll be okay, but you never know with slime climbs. See, that's what I was afraid was about to happen to me. I was so scared. You can see more people are trying to get through. We're down the fourth place now, but so many of the players are just sort of getting knocked back and knocked off and everything. And ooh, so close there too. Oh man, it is a total mess. Okay, the last time I was on Hyperdrive Heroes, I unfortunately could not make it to the end. Somebody grabbed me and we plummeted to our doom. So I'll try to be careful of that, but our duo's partner is gone. I don't know why that happens so often. We're like, you know, our, our duo partner doesn't make it, that's unfortunate, but I still am able to survive the round for us. But they disconnect, they give up. It's like, no, it's not over. Well, we still, we can still survive this. I don't know, I guess they're just not interested, they can't be playing. But like, you, you could be playing right now, I don't, I don't know. Maybe it was just a, you know, a situation where they had to go, and I'm just misunderstanding it, but it seems to happen often enough that I don't think that's what's happening. Oh no, ooh, I almost got launched, that one would not have been good, but we're fine. If I could get a nice first place finish here, there is a chance we could still make it to the next round. I don't think we could go too much beyond, beyond that, just because the point requirement gets way too high for one singular player to make. Um, but we'll see, but so far, not so much luck with duos. Maybe next time I'll just specifically queue squads to see if that's any better, because this one is just really feeling rough right now. But you know, we, we can be a little sneaky. Don't they? Please leave me alone. I'm just trying to play. I'm all on my own here. I don't got a squad mate. Let me just enjoy my loneliness. All right. Keep going. I'll jump and dive, because I, I really don't want to get grabbed. So far, so good. Trying to stay away from everybody. Far away, oh no, ooh, almost, almost, almost a huge issue. Now we can run, now we can go, just like this. Oh, somebody got launched way over there with that. Oh, I saw that. That was, oh, I didn't really see it happening, but I sort of saw them get launched over. That was interesting, so gotta be careful of those kind of things. All right, come on, run, 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 just like this. And then we'll wait just a moment, but then I can jump, dive, and make it. Awesome. So we're coming up onto the end here. We've made it farther than we did last time, which is great. But I was racing through this. I would love to hear your thoughts on the, the Santa Claus Grinch costume here. Do you enjoy this one as well as the normal Grinch costume? I think they're both pretty cool. Obviously, they're quite similar in that way, but I think both are really nice if you're a fan of the um, original. And of course, this is going to be right up your alley, but we're gonna wait right here. I might even opt to just yeah, just take this path up. And then if we really need to, go, go, go like this, because remember, I still need to earn points more than other players do. For other players, probably just qualifying is enough, but for me, it might be too much of a risk to do that. So it looks like we, we survived. We get the gold medal, but just barely. Okay, next up is Fruit Shoot. I'm a little nervous about this one. It does have the hammers on the side, so I could try to use those to win. We need to be top four to qualify. So once again, this one is sort of like an all or nothing situation. Oh, not quite the timing I wanted. Come on, we'll try one more time. 
Oh, there we go, there we go. Great angle, actually. So, might not be a first place finish because somebody is ahead of me, but if we could get a second place, maybe that's enough points for us to stay in the top four. It would be if the fruit wasn't rolling me over. Oh, man. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, uh, it looks like it's gonna be too late, unfortunately. Where did that one come from? Yeah, we're already in fifth place here. Come on, get me up, get me up. And then we're just gonna fall farther and farther behind. Even if we get the, you know, sixth place finish here, it's, it's just not enough. So, that really stinks. I did what I could, but it just, it won't be enough for us to get through because we had a disconnected player. So we'll leave it like that for this one. We'll try a squad round just to finish things off, but man, it has been rough to get far in today's episode. You know, it, Grinch is just maybe not very lucky in Fall Guys. So we'll just exit our show here and collect our rewards. This time it is going to be, um, ooh, we got it done. So that's at least a bunch of battle pass points for us. Really happy to see that. I'm gonna get a few silver medals, a gold, so in total, almost 8,000 battle pass points. We'll get this to level 63, the shark camo pattern unlocked. Very nice. Ooh, we're about to unlock a new victory thing, so that'd be cool. I guess we'll have to see if we get it here, though. So I'll try one squad round, no matter how it goes. If it goes perfect, awesome. If it doesn't, oh well. We're just gonna go, we'll try it, we'll see what happens. Ooh, so we're starting our first squad show round with the Lily Leapers. Oh boy. I think we can handle this one ourselves, but it can be a bit of a coin toss on whether or not we get a squad that can make our way, their way to the end. A lot of people get hung up on the like the second sort of row of obstacles as you make your way up that big wall. So we'll see what happens here. We are already missing a player immediately, which it you know, seems to be how you know the way things go here. But you know, maybe we have three super performers on our team, so we'll be okay. Only one way to find out, and that's to try our best in the meantime dive over like this. That was pretty good. I think I want to go over like this way. I sort of dived a moment too soon with that one. Here we can. Ah, oh, darn. Okay, that's not what I wanted. Let's try that again. Okay, much better. And, oh, yeah, I can just bounce over like that. That was pretty good. And I might as well just keep with this. Got it, so, oh man, we just barely made it across the finish line there. That's a third place finish. Or actually, no second? Nice, because another one of our teammates was right behind us. That's amazing. Or is it? No, no, I'm looking at the wrong. <laughs> Never mind, it's still just me that went through, but the other two people ahead of us were both on the same team. Okay, I understand. So, it's really just up to these other two players. Can they make it past up this wall? Because that's where I feel the majority of players really struggle is getting up this wall. So far, we got one of them. Now you gotta do it, I believe in you. But we need to be, I don't know, it doesn't tell me what place we need to be, just as race to the finish. So I can only hope that our team will be able to accomplish it, but oh, you're doing the side path. I can definitely agree with that one, it's a lot safer. But we're currently in 10th. We'll jump up in points if they can, oh no! Oh, it was so close! Come on, you got it this time. What about our other friends here? It looks like they're still trying to get up the wall. Oh, they dived at just the right time. They just gotta get up there. Oh no. Oh, good crab though. And how about you? Oh, you did it. Great work. Okay, so they're gonna be able to get through. And that'll get us at the eighth place. That's definitely gotta be enough to be able to qualify, but we'll see if our friend here can get through as well. That would be another huge jump for us. But it looks like they're having a hard time getting started. These platforms do move and that makes it really difficult to sort of figure out where you should start. You gotta bounce off of that and then land on the moving ones. With only five seconds remaining, they unfortunately will not be able to make it. That's okay though, because I think we still qualified. Ooh, we got slime climb this time. Last time I, I had to be the one to make it, but another one of our players disconnected. That is a shame. I feel like some players actually don't understand that just because they didn't make it, it doesn't mean that the whole team made it. Maybe they didn't even realize that they're like queuing up with squads and stuff. Maybe they're just like a newer player. Maybe they should try to make that a little bit more clear on the screen or something. Because I think that's what's happening, is that players honestly think that they're out when they're actually still in it. They could still win. Okay, we're just gonna get over here. Come on, run, run, run. Oh no. Oh no, come on. Got it. and I might try yeah, cutting across like this just to get a little bit farther ahead. Because now every single potential point we could earn truly matters, especially when our other teammate just got eliminated. Oh no, this is gonna be rough. This is gonna be really rough. But I would at least like to try getting a first place finish here. So far, looking very doable. 
There we go, we did it, okay. So this might be our last hurrah here. So I'm glad we could at least get a nice gold medal. I mean, I, I guess we technically won't because we still won't qualify, which is a shame. But yeah, let's just take a look as the slime rises. Who is gonna get through? Is there some way, somehow, we could still get sixth place from that? It would be amazing. Uh, so unfortunately, we couldn't quite make it. So we'll go back and get our rewards now. Hopefully, we get some good stuff. So let's see our sure summary. We don't get too much here. We just got a silver medal and that's it. So we got knocked out. It is what it is. When you play duos and squads, it just a lot of the times players disconnect and you can't make anything of it. But we got it done. We were still able to showcase, of course, this brand new costume pack, the Great Big Grinch Bundle. And it was a ton of fun to take a look at these two. So definitely let me know your thoughts on them and if you plan on getting this bundle. But stay tuned because there is more Fall Guys content on the way. We still have more of the Battle Pass to showcase, including the Ultraman costume and the Shork costume coming soon. But for right now, that is gonna wrap for today's episode of Fall Guys Ultimate Knockout. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.